Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make Bombay duck and uh, dry bombil with semi dry red masala. This is so delicious. If you are a fan of bombil, this is the right recipe. It is very simple but very tasty. Uh, it's um, salty, spicy, tangy, hint of sweet. This is amazing with dal rice and bread and pao. So let's check out the ingredients. Clean Bombay duck, bombil, remove the fins and cut the head and tail and cut into two pieces and slit in the middle and cut into like a thin strip like this. Quickly wash uh, with the water a couple of times to remove all the dirt. This is very important, otherwise you'll ruin the whole dish. And uh, drain completely. And let's prepare masala now for this. In this bowl, there's chili powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder, salt, and adjoint seeds. Add white vinegar, coconut oil, and very little water and form into a nice paste like this. Add this red two teaspoon full of red masala and mix them well. Make sure this bomb will each and every strip coated with the red masala and marinate for 10 minutes. Perfect. Here I have diced potatoes, chopped ginger, garlic, sliced onions, cut tomatoes, heat oil in a pan. You can use coconut oil or regular oil. And add the potato and cook the potato until they're nice and soft, pork tender, and remove and keep them aside like this. Now in the same pan, add onions, ginger, garlic, stir fry them until they're soft and golden brown in color. In another kadai, add oil and add marinated bombil and fry them until they're nice and crisp and remove and set aside with along with the potatoes like this now onion once they turn nice and brown go ahead and add red masala give it a stir cook until the oil separates from the masala add jaggery Now add tomato slices, give it a stir and close the lid and cook until they are nice and soft and mushy. Add tamarind pulp, I forgot to show in this video. This tomato cooks beautifully and the oil also separated from the masala. Look at this, beautiful. Now go ahead and add a cooked or deep fried potato and bombil and give a good mix make sure all the masala and gravy coated with potato and bombil strips you can enjoy this bombil with potato with dal rice toasted bread bun pow i hope you like this recipe guys love you and god bless you and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel ciao